Hello, everybody. This is Dee from Dee's Cute and Crafty, and I am back with five decor pieces for you today. This is brand new to me. I have never crafted for St. Patrick's Day. I never have, you guys. So let's see what I come up with. Um, I hope you guys like them. We're going to start out with this Dollar Tree Buffalo Check Ribbon, one of their gnome garlands, some jute cord. I have one of the Dollar Tree houses, and I have my Dixie Belle in fluff, various other pink colors. I'm going to be mixing some stuff up, you guys. And I am going to do some hand lettering. So you see I have my pencil and my eraser. I'm going to start out by taking this house apart. I'm just going to cut it apart carefully. And we're going to get it all trimmed up because I don't want that paper on there. And I can um, just get as much off as I can, sand it down, paint it the color I want, and then use the side that's um, brown. That can remain the back and it'll be a nice, neat, clean surface where I don't have to try to cover it in craft paper. So now that I have... All the paper off that I could get off and I've sanded it with my um, electric sander I just went in with my Dixie Belle fluff chalk paint and gave it a nice coat of paint and now I'm putting the frame back on and I'm going around it with my pencil I'm doing that so that I know where to write where the center of my house is and I'm showing you on that little <laughs> scrap piece of cardboard or whatever I had um, I've already written out what I want on my house. I usually go over it like that first. I kind of write it out, get an idea of what I want it to look like, what kind of font I want to use, what looks good to my eye. I erase a hundred million thousand times and then I go ahead and write it on my actual piece that I'm creating as you see me doing here. So it just says this house runs on love and shenanigans. So now that I have everything all penciled in, I'm going to go in with my Sharpie like I often do. Well, like I do every time. <laughs> and I am just going to make everything nice, dark, and crisp so we can read it. And this is going to one of my friends at work. Actually, everything you see me making is going to someone. I told you I was going to do a St. Patrick's Day video because I have some friends at work who are Irish and they wanted something for um, the Irish holiday. So I am just going to create a couple of things for them. So I thought I would take my green Sharpie marker and just fill this in, the shamrock, but I didn't really like how it was looking. So I went over it with some, let's see, what is this? This is, I want to say it's Christmas tree by Apple Barrel, but I'm probably wrong. Anyway, I've got that all done. And now I'm just going to take some wood glue and go around the frame. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and put some everywhere that I did not put wood glue really just at the the corners and the, the points or peaks of that frame is where I put the hot glue. And we're just going to get that back in place. I have a lot of wood glue seeping out. So we're just going to take a baby wipe, clean it up. No big deal. Going to clean it up inside and out. So you guys, I realized after I put the frame of the house back on, you can't see the G in shenanigans because I didn't think about that when I was measuring everything out and drawing my um, line around the frame to make sure I stayed in frame didn't think about that G so all I did was bring it out onto the inside frame of the house so that you could still tell that it is the letter G now I'm going to take some of this pretty green buffalo check ribbon from Dollar Tree and I am going to outline or trim out the house with this beautiful buffalo check ribbon it was wider than I needed so I just cut it right in half right down the middle and it fit perfectly on this house 
You guys, thank you so much for joining me today for this video. Thank you so, so much to all my new subscribers. Thank you for becoming a part of the Cute and Crafty family. And for my subscribers that have been in it for a minute, been with me for a while, thank you for coming back. I love you so much and blessed to have each and every one of you here. So now I'm going to take that little gnome. I'm going to cut him off the garland and just glue him, kind of add a little twist, not really straight. I'm going to glue him to the corner of the house. And then I thought eh, I needed a little bit of rustic charm. So I am putting some twine on the house. And here it is, you guys, all finished. I added a little jute bow to the hat on the gnome. And that was it. I think this came out so cute. It is so adorable. And it is my favorite of the five that I'm going to bring you today. I love this one. I hope you guys do too. Moving on to DIY number two. This one is so easy. Actually, all of the DIYs that I'm bringing you today are super, super easy. I have one of the Dollar Tree wood rounds. I am, again, using my Dixie Belle fluff. I have ribbon from Dollar Tree, and I also have ribbon from Old Time Pottery, and I have these window clings from Dollar Tree. This is so easy. I took my Dixie Belle fluff. I just painted the wood round in that color, and I'm just going to go around the edge of this wood round with my green Sharpie and just make some vines, a little bit of ivy, just to give it some more interest so it doesn't look so plain. And after I did it in the marker, once again, I wasn't happy. I don't, with, I don't know why I keep trying to use that marker. <laughs> I was not happy with the way the marker looks, so I went in with um, two different colors of green paint. I have a ton of green paint in all kind of colors, you guys. I'm not even sure which two I used because uh, I had them all sitting out. So I just went in and filled everything in with the paint. I took some Mod Podge and went over the wood round so that I could adhere the window cling. And this window cling is really cute. It's glittery, but the glitter, of course, does not come off because it is a window cling. And now I'm going to take some of those wooden red lips from my Valentine stash from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place a set of lips on the wood sign because, of course, it says, Kiss Me, I'm Irish, so you got to have some lips on it. And now I'm just going to make a bow the way that I always do. I cut my ribbon and I make my loops and then I cut another um another ribbon because I like to double my bows and then I make loops with that. I just cut the second um, ribbon just a little bit smaller than the first so that you can see all of the loops. I stack them. Then I make my tails and I dovetail them. Again, making the tails at different lengths. One is going to be longer than the other. So usually the bow that is the biggest or the loops that are the biggest has the longest tail. And then the one on top has a shorter uh, set of loops so it has the shorter tail so I made my dovetails I stack and then I pinch and then I tie everything off it's the way I make my bows 99.9% .9 of the time it just works out so if it ain't broke don't fix it so I'm just gonna tie it with some jute cord I am going to fluff out these loops Pull those tails down and get this attached to that wood round. And I am going to tie this on. I prefer to tie my bows on as opposed to gluing them so much because if I tie them on, I know they're not going to come off. If you glue them on and then this is a, a sign that is going to be on a door or in the sunlight, everything's going to fall off that you glued on. So... I prefer to just tie it on or wire it on and it works out so much better and here she is you guys another cute and easy DIY another door hanger or door sign I like that the 
the window cling had a little bit of a wood texture look to it. If you look at it really close, you can see that it had a little bit of a gray tinted wood texture. I thought that was kind of cute. You guys, don't forget, give this video a big fat thumbs up if you like what you see. Moving on to DIY number three. We're going to start out with this Dollar Tree wood truck that I've already disassembled. Because I don't need all the pieces, I'm going to change it up just a little bit. I have another one of the Dollar Tree wood round. I showed you these beads and I'm not even going to use them. I have my chalk paint. I think it is stone gray and that's by Hello Hobby. And just some Deco Arts white acrylic paint. And I have some stick-on letters, just like the peel and stick letters. And I believe these came from Walmart. So I'm going to start out painting my wood round in this gray and white paint mixture that I'm going to just mix up and play around with until I get it to where I like it. I will also be using some of the Dollar Tree Shamrock picks that are super glittery, but for this DIY, they're going to be okay. This is for Howard, and he likes glittery kind of DIYs. He likes tinsel and things like that, so this will be fine for him. So I just smeared that paint together, gave it a little bit of a marbling kind of striated look. I thought it was kind of cool picking up that little bit of gray that I see on the running board of the truck. So now I am just going to place the truck down, trace around it so that I only put glue where I need it. I'm putting wood glue all around the inside of where I drew my uh truck and then I am going to use hot glue on the outside edges. Just going to smash that down real good and just hold it in place a little bit. And now I'm going to take my shamrocks and these stems or sticks are very easy to pull out. So some of them I'm going to pull them out, not even use the sticks. And then on others, I will leave them in just to give this some height so that they're not all just bunched together because I want to put a bow back here in this flat bed of this truck and if they're all bunched together that would be a little bit difficult to do so now i'm just hot gluing them down and i noticed that the styrofoam with these doesn't melt as easily it still melts but not as easily because it's so covered with glitter so that's a plus if glitter was ever a plus that's a plus so i decided i better put my twine back on before I start gluing the shamrocks down or else I would cover the hole and I wouldn't be able to get that twine through the hole. And now I'm just hot gluing the shamrock picks where I want them. Just doing a little cleanup, getting my glue webbing off of my sign. And I made a bow using some green and black buffalo check and some black and white, maybe gingham. I don't know my, my prints. There's gingham, there's buffalo check, there's plaid, there's tartan plaid. I do the best I can, you guys. So now that I've got that bow in place, I'm just putting down my word hello. And I'm going to use a ruler to kind of line it up so I can get it as straight as I can. And then I'm just going to go ahead and press everything down. And you can definitely Mod Podge those letters to make sure they don't move. And also, I've been thinking about using this puzzle glue. We'll see. So here it is, DIY number three, all finished. I love how it turns out, how it turned out, and I know Howard's going to love it too. So you guys, I haven't used that puzzle glue yet as a Mod Podge, but I saw another YouTuber use it as a Mod Podge, and she said it worked really good. I, I'm so sorry. I don't even know who she was. It was just something I saw in passing, but I'm going to try it and see. Moving on to DIY number four, I have one of the wire wreath frames from Walmart. I'm still using my Dixie Belle fluff. I have my apple barrel in palm leaf and Christmas tree. Going to be doing some hand lettering. I have a scrap piece of MDF. I have some more of the 
um, peel and stick letters, some beads, leftover beads from one of the garlands. I have these shamrock, um, I don't know, like ornaments or like little press board pieces. And I have various ribbons from the Dollar Tree. So we're going to start out by just giving this wire wreath frame some ribbon. I need something to give it some pizzazz. It's just plain. Otherwise, I don't want to try to make any type of, um, oh my goodness, what is it? The deco mesh. That's what it is. I thought about using my deco mesh and making it really poofy. And then I thought, no, um, keeping in mind the person that this is for, that's not really her taste. Um, so I opted not to do that. I'm sure she would have been kind and said she loved it anyway, but I know that that's not her taste. So this is more her speed, so that's why I'm using this pretty burlap and lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to take my little piece of MDF because I want to make a sign for the middle of this wreath. And I'm just marking with my ruler where I'm going to put the holes because I'm going to wire this sign to the wreath. That way I know it's not going to come off. I don't want to hot glue it. So I'm taking my fluff and just giving this a rough coat. And I wrote in pencil, kiss me, I'm Irish. Yes, another kiss me, I'm Irish um, wall hanging or not even wall hanging. I guess you could hang it on the wall, but it is a door hanger. We'll see where she actually puts it. So after I do my hand lettering in pencil, again, going back with my Sharpie and making everything nice and neat and dark so you can read it. Now I'm going to take my silver paddle wire and just wire this to the wreath. I'm just going to stick it down through that ribbon and find one of those pieces of wire and give it a good twist in the back cut off what I don't need and tuck my ends down in the ribbon. Now I'm going to be taking some of these shamrocks. I want to use the white ones. I have two packs because I need enough to spell out the word Irish. So I needed five. You only get four white ones and four green ones per pack. So I had to open up the second pack just to get one of them out. And I only had one eye left, so as you can see, I am going to makeshift <laughs> an eye. And you can't tell that I had to make it. It looks just like the other one. I used a T, and then I used a bottom part of just the outline of an eye that I had left over, the actual black part of the letter I had used. So I just MacGyvered it. That's what I did. And I used my Sharpie to fill it in. I didn't like the look of it, so I went back with paint. And there it is. Can't even tell. So now I'm going to take this jute, and this is a thicker jute twine from Walmart. And I'm just going to give myself a long line of jute because I need something to attach my shamrocks to. So I'm trying to figure out, do I want beads at the top of this? Do I want beads at the bottom of it? I'm not sure. So you'll see me put the beads on and then take them back off. And I'm just using some masking tape to get the tip of this twine nice and stiff so that I can thread my beads. And the beads are gone. <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and braid this so that it is thicker and so that it stays together. So I can then hot glue my shamrocks down this line of twine, this braid of twine. And I'm just going to glue them kind of haphazardly. I don't want them straight in a straight line. I want them to just be 
here and there, here and there, if that makes any sense. And then I'm going to put beads at the bottom. And I staggered them somewhat so that they would hang better. I'm just going to tie a knot at the end to hold the beads in place and cut off what I don't need. And this is a very long sign. So I had to make a bow. You guys know I could not, could not leave this the way it was. I'm just deciding, do I want it at the top? Do I want it at the bottom? Do I want it off to the side? So I opted to do it off to the side, and I'm just going to tie it on. No hot glue needed for this. I like to tie them on or use some um, paddle wire to get them on. That way, if I want to use them for something else, I can just untie it or cut the paddle wire, and I can still use that bow. And here it is, DIY number four. I love how it turned out. I hope you guys do too. As always, comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite of the five that I'm bringing you today. Again, you guys, I have never crafted for St. Patrick's Day. So this is a first for me. So I hope you guys are enjoying this content. If you are, give it a thumbs up so YouTube knows that you're enjoying it and they share me out a little bit more and my channel grows. If you've been watching this long and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss out on another Cute and Crafty DIY with D. I would so love to have you as part of the Cute and Crafty family. Moving on to DIY number five. I've got one of the Dollar Tree fold tiles. I've got my Christmas tree, my palm leaf, and the sunset yellow. We're going to do some hand lettering. I've got my same ribbon I've been using from Dollar Tree. And I have some scrap cardboard. I went ahead and freehanded a uh, shamrock on it. And then I'm going to take that same piece of cardboard and trace out a shamrock onto this tile. I gave it a coat of the Apple Barrel Christmas Tree Green Paint. And I am going to hot glue the shamrock to the cardboard. I'm doing that because otherwise it's just too flimsy. So you have to have something for it to, you know, give it some weight. And I could have done this with MDF board, but you guys, my hands are so tired of all that trimming and cutting. And I just said, nope, cardboard's going to work out just fine. So instead of using my Dixie Bell gilded gold wax, I am just going to use this Sunset Yellow by Apple Barrel. And it comes out, <laughs> it comes out very yellow mustardy. Yeah, mm. but after, <laughs> I'm laughing because when I first did it, I kept going, oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is really bad, what do I do with this? And then I said, girl, just keep going, it's either going to get worse or it's going to get better, just keep going. It dried down to where it didn't look quite so mustard colored, but my gold gilding wax would have been a much better look for this. But we are just going to, you know, just forge ahead gonna just keep going so I took another piece of cardboard and you know cut the edges off of it just to give it a little bit of a fancier look so it didn't look just like a piece of old plain cardboard I used it because it's white and that meant I didn't have to paint it and I wrote on it in pencil first of course shamrock kisses I have one of the Dollar Tree uh, set of lips again left over from Valentine's Day this is the a different uh, look than the ones I used previously, but still from Dollar Tree. And I painted them in the Santa Red by Apple Barrel. And I'm just going to glue them to my sign. I went over that little sign with some black acrylic paint just to go around the edges, give it a little bit of dimension, a little bit of interest. And then I hot glued my lips on, and now I'm going to hot glue the sign onto the shamrock. Shamrock Kisses. Of course, I have to make a bow. So I'm going to take some of that buffalo check from Dollar Tree, cut it down the middle, make my loops. Pinch it together, use the other piece to make my tail. 
I only need half of it though, so just cut it in half. Then I'm going to take some of the black and white gingham, make some loops, stack it on the other ribbon, make some tails, and stack that on the other ribbon. Stack the loops and the tails together, pinch them in the middle, and tie them off with some jute cord. Easy peasy. Now I'm just going to fluff until I like it. Just going to hot glue it to the bottom. I am going to add a tumbling tower block to the back so that it stands on its own and she is done. And here it is, you guys, DIY number five, the final one of this St. Patrick's Day video. You guys, let me know what you think. Again, first time ever crafting for St. Patrick's Day. I hope I did you proud. I love how everything turned out, even my little mustard yellow shamrock. I love it as well. And here's the final reveal of everything I've made for you today. You guys, if you have a shamrock emoji, leave me a shamrock. That lets me know you hung out with me today. And for that, I am truly grateful and blessed to have you here. Again, give it a thumbs up. Talk to me in the comments. Share it out with your friends and family. And if you haven't joined, consider doing so. You guys, if you haven't, had it, haven't gone over yet <laughs> to my Facebook group, D's Cute and Crafty DIY Divas, Please go over there and ask to join and admin will let you in and you can share your beautiful crafts over there. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. Follow me on all social media, on my Facebook, D's Cute and Crafty DIY Divas, on YouTube, D's Delicious, D's Delicious Bites. Yeah, I have another channel, D's Cute and Crafty, and on Instagram, I am Coco Curl 65 Thank you guys so much. As always, be blessed, stay safe, and until I see you in my next one, craft something beautiful today, you guys. Bye.